they're better than being rusty and looking shit. some come out really good these are real nice so these are the bolts for the suspension on the rear you right there, mate. <laughs> So, got Peter Trander, busy cleaning up the drive shaft. Yeah. So, getting all the old paint off, cleaning that up. It's warm, boy. Yeah. Safety first, PPE. Safety first, PPE. So, yeah. Whoa. So, they're going to be painted up, and then what we're going to do, so this one's been done already, is... All these arms, they're going to take I'm going to take them all off, clean them up, put something on these threads, protect them. I've also bought a plating kit, so we're going to re-plate the bolts, uh, like a zinc coating, um, then with like a nickel passive, I think it's called a passative, um, which is going to turn the bolts to that yellow kind of OEM look. The yellow here is a nickel passative. Going to clean, clean up around here paint up around these just tidy them up and uh, should be looking pretty good well you realize peter oh you forgot this end didn't you yeah but we were protecting these and that the these and that peter trander the greek dentist got a nose on that whoa this is getting in there this is just a brass wire brush on a drill. They were rebuilt just before we bought the car, so uh, the CV joints and stuff are pretty good. Wanted to just quickly show you what I'm planning to do um, with some of the bolts and some of the other metal plates that have probably gotten a bit rusty or had a hard life. Bought a uh, zinc nickel alloy plating kit. Uh, it's about 130 quid. Um, you need to get some distilled water and you need a DC power source. And I think I paid like 40 quid off Amazon or something like that, so real cheap. Um, and the idea of this kit is it, it comes with all the acids and the alkalines that you need to wash uh, your bolts or your metal plates with. One of the key things is, is it's, it's super clean. Uh, so you have to like dip it in acid and stuff like that. So gloves on, glasses on, because it's some of this stuff's a, a little bit nasty, a well ventilated area. I'm just gonna run through. I've never done this. I've read the instructions about five or six times now. Mm. I, I understand the process. I don't know about doing it though. So, so I'm getting the, the tank ready. So these are zinc anodes. I think they're anodes. They might be cathodes. I don't know. Whatever it says in here, I'm just gonna connect this one up to either red and the bolt as you can see on the drawing here to the other pole and then power it with this thing in a solution with some green green stuff nickel chloride we got some zinc chloride the acid salts so this is the stuff that you mix with the water and it will strip off any other plates or like the plating process that's already on there the rust the scale and then you dip it in alkaline and then you have to do something called activate it so by activate it what they mean is the 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 acid that we use will etch the surface of the steel and you quickly dip it in clean acid so not the same acid that you use to wash the rust off with clean acid dip it in um rinse it off and then you go straight into here and then the plating begins uh, so that can take anything from like five to five minutes to about 30 minutes depending on how many items you've got uh how large a surface area so one thing with this is it keeps going on about is the amperage that you need 
to run so this just runs on a really low power source so going through these cables will only be around five volts and it will be running at anywhere between about one to six amps maybe so really low power and then you can put it in this capacitive stuff there we go so when you look at zinc bolts that bluey color that you get comes from this so it's like a coating that they put in to prolong uh any further any future corrosion i'm gonna have a go at just setting this up i'm only gonna be up here for like half an hour so i'm gonna get on put it on time lapse and just rattle through some stuff tank is pretty much set up all i need to do is so is, is get the liquid in there or get the the chemicals mixed with some warm water some deionized water but i'm not going to do that tonight uh just getting on, on a bit it's 11 o'clock uh and i have actually got a job tomorrow which is good if we can get nice new bolts from what is essentially about a 200 pound set not even that 180 pound um, if it does what we need it to do uh, and does all the bolts nice and new fresh looking then money well spent if you ask me so part two to the zinc and nickel coating bolt scenario thing that i'm on with there's probably going to be a third part to this to be honest because it's pretty complex getting it all set up so just getting my water mixed up ready to put my ammonia and nickel and other stuff and bits and bobs in it as well got these to hang as well which are so that's a solid piece of nickel pure nickel mm, lovely and this is titanium wire along with my little rig that i made last night so um because the thing with this is once i'm done plating i have to remove the zinc plates and the nickel or the zinc anodes and the nickel anodes from the solution or the electrolyte otherwise it i don't know something happens i'm not a scientist even though this is called science with jake i'm actually not a scientist believe it or not fingers crossed today we might do some plating and i know this isn't very interesting for everybody but uh it interests me so Right, and there's that lovely green mixture, which I, uh, I need to give a little stir. So in there, at the minute, is distilled water, ammonium chloride, zinc chloride, and nickel chloride. And then I've got to mix it till it's dissolved, and then add this stuff, xylite, whatever that may be. Give it a good old stir, put some other stuff in there, and then ready to drop in the anodes. And I need to start knocking up the acid mix which is not what i'm looking forward to so we've got some dry salt acids here um, mixed with water they should strip all the rust and stuff okay the kit is up and running um a few teething issues the key to this is cleanliness so it's my first attempt which i don't think is too bad it's plated um and it looks all right Acid, nasty stuff. Alkaline, pretty nasty too. And currently, don't know if we can see I have some bolts. That's what I'm currently using. Point, like half a volt and one amp. I should be able just to do, 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 do. And they are plating. Well, I think they're plating. They look like they're plating, so we'll see how this batch goes and give you a little update in a minute i've got the hang of the plating stuff it's going all right it's just a lot of it and it's quite time consuming waiting for the for like the acid to do its cleaning and the alkaline and then the plating and then you gotta wash it off and whoa, all this stuff i'll show you my collection probably about three hours into it mm, some results are better than others so i'll show you the bolt from the last video uh, and how that came out um, and I'll just show you some other stuff, show you the finishes, and yeah, 
so and and these are the, the finished results so this is that bolt that was being plated when it was in the tub uh, so it comes out zinc colored which is like a very bright silver and then it's you wash it in this passative and it's the passative which gives it its colouring uh, and the colouring just makes the zinc coating last longer less reactive to some other elements uh, these types of bolts for that kind of finish typically are more expensive which is why they're less common the more common type of finish is I know this isn't a bolt but the principle is the same this is coated this is a real hard zinc coating so I've been playing around with it uh, length of time that you dip it into the passative temperatures that the item goes into and what I found is if I you have to it literally has to come out of the tank and then go straight into the passative tank if I take this out swill it round in that tank for maybe 10 seconds or so it starts to color but then if I heat it rinse it off in some clean water and warm it up literally not hot hot 30 degrees or so and then give it one dip into that bucket that it's giving me these really nice rainbow colors um I'll show you some other stuff that i done with that same method as well so anti-roll brackets so you can see where the cleaning i just couldn't get enough of the crap off how the zinc hasn't taken to it but to be honest not really bothered because they look much better than the rusty old piece of that they started off with some come out really good these are real nice so these are the bolts for the suspension on the rear it's where the, the coil over shock sits in and this goes then through here if i remember correctly getting there slowly i'm going to try and get some more bolts i'm going to try and get some more bolts done today uh, get them cleaned up on the wire brush um, get them plated go from there so i've got a couple of other little jobs that i need to be getting on with as well that have come in um, but yeah all in all pretty good got an itchy neck though maybe the next video will be I've got a tube bender and i'll show you that and a notcher so we're gonna have a go at putting a cage in um, Ed's E46. Uh, we're gonna do some tube mod, uh, roll cage modifications to the 92. Gonna extend the, f the bolting cage. Gonna put some sort of door pillars in, um, bolt down to the floor, weld it in. Not decided at the minute. Uh, also got some new parts. So I'm gonna go away from my face because it's not the best thing to be looking at, is it? So, ugh. Pro 5000's turned up yesterday. Um, there's two sets in there of fronts, one for the 92, and the other set is for Peter Trander's E46, so he can get rid of his Alcon reps that he's currently got on there. Keeps claiming that they're legitimate Alcons, but I beg to differ. Yeah.